All right, what's up? This is Nick Clark from Spotted Dog Yoga, and I'm gonna break down how to do leap frogs. Remember, my challenge for you this month is to bring in 10 leap frogs to every exercise routine that you do. So I, I'm over here at the gym. I just did 10 suicides, and now I'm gonna do 10 leap frogs. Now, remember, this isn't about the teacher. If you go to a class, a yoga class, this isn't about the teacher telling you to or asking you to do leap frogs this is about you just finding the motivation to do it inside of yourself if you're doing yoga at spotted dog one of the best places to put in leap frogs is when students are in boat pose boat pose is a great prepper for leap frogs if you don't want to do leap frogs just keep working on activating your feet your hands and your core and your boat pose get to the place where you can reach your arms straight up above your head in boat pose and then ultimately you'll be able to do leap frogs. Another thing with leap frogs remember is that it's not just a constant bounce, bounce, bounce. What you wanna do is you want to land your feet down, take a full cycle of breath in, empty your breath out, and as you inhale, hug in and expand out to take your legs up above your head. And when you land, you reset and you do that again. You take a full breath in, empty all your breath out, and then as you inhale, you'll lift back up and you'll do that 10 times with control. As you're coming down, you wanna pay attention to whether or not your feet are landing softly, like a helicopter, or if they're landing hard, like an elephant. You want to have your feet landing soft. To do that, keep your toes active and squeeze the inner edges of your feet together all the way through. Okay, so remember, in any workout that you do this month, yoga, running, biking, Add in 10 leap frogs through the month of March as we move through um, in winter season and right into our spring season. Oh, real quick, boat pose. Remember, boat pose is a great modification for leap frogs. First, start with the inner edges of your feet together. Pull your toes back towards your face. That's how you activate your feet. And then keep a little space between your knees and hug into this space. From there, you'll feel some uh, intensity come into your core and you want to integrate your arms so first take your arms forward pull your side bodies up to your ears pull your shoulders straight back and if that feels good for you pull your front ribs in and take your arms up if you got that pretty nailed down then work on straightening your legs for your boat pose okay if not you can hold it here all right so remember you don't have to do leap frogs in your class this month to get the strength to do them sometime in the future you can use boat pose now for leap frogs you're going to want to start with downward facing dog, but you're going to want to shorten your stride just a little bit. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to start with your feet separated, but as your feet come off the floor, you're going to squeeze the inner edges of your feet together and pull your shins, pull your toes in towards your shins. And the first step is to bring your hips over your shoulders while squeezing the inner edges of your feet together. If you're flailing your legs around in the air, it's going to be really really hard for you to go all the way up in the handstand so before you push the handstand you want to get your feet and your legs okay so watch my feet first it's just to hop and squeeze in hop and squeeze in like that okay now with the breath breathe in breathe out inhale up exhale down breathe in breathe out inhale up exhale down Breathe in, breathe out, inhale up, exhale back down, breathe in, breathe out, inhale up, Woo. exhale back down, breathe in, breathe out, inhale go up. Alright, so it takes some attention to detail to get this, breathe in, breathe out, Inhale, go up. Oop. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, go up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, go up. Last two. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, go up. And if you get it here and you're holding it, your feet are active, take your feet up. And then bring your knees back down. And then bring your feet down. Okay? All right. Remember, little hops are just as effective as big hops. 
You want to land like a helicopter, not like an elephant. Keep your feet together, pull your toes in towards your shins. Add 10 leaf frogs into every workout you do this month of March and comment and share with me how it's going for you. Have a great rest of your day. Let's do this.